Drill Freak Nation. I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, seven day PIGO challenge along with the exercises that follow. What we're going to do today is we're going to do a little bit of uh, park the car in the garage. We're going to take that concept and that's a, a drill that I use and it's uh, something that I learned from Raymond Floyd. So I cannot take credit for this particular type of saying. However, we have a drill that, that we use uh, and to get to park the car in the garage. So in this case here, the car is going to be our hands the lead pocket is going to be the garage. But what I like to add to this particular type of drill here, that we're going to take two T's, okay, and we're going to put the T's, let me just get that right there, uh, and I'm going to put them right underneath my arms, just like that, close to my sides, all right, so you can see I'm very well connected. So we're also going to work on connection with this particular drill. So I, I've kept the pad here because I still want to use this pad um, for our drills, okay, because that's still, we still want to work on some of the penetration techniques that we are working on. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to want to feel like when we're coming through the hit, so now we're in the hitting zone, there's the hit, there's, there's our impact position, and when we come through the rest of the way, one of the things I'm going to want to see, and I'll show it to you down the line this way through, is when you come through, and I'm doing that very, very slowly right now, Right now, you can see my hands are low and they're moving towards my lead pocket. That's the garage, the hands, or the car when I come through. Another thing that we want to do when we're doing this drill is to make sure that that right shoulder or trailing shoulder stays under the lead shoulder coming through. And we will hold that. If you're experiencing any type of tension or whatever in your back, you can raise yourself up. I just like to see when you're coming through, when we're going through this particular drill right now, parking the car in the garage. There it is. It's not, remember, it's not going away because if it was, you would see these would fall right out, okay? The T's. I like using T's for this particular drill because, uh, first of all, it's, it's hard to keep them in place and you don't even really notice it, but when you take them out and we do this drill now, you're going to still feel like those T's are inside there. So it's a really good way for connection. I know some people use a towel. You'll see swing coaches out there say uh, to use that. Sometimes even we will even use, and you can get this little sponge. We'll put a little sponge underneath it. And we use that for certain drills too. But T's for this particular one, I think, is, is a little bit better. So I will show you this drill again. And all we're going to do is slowly again, once we get set, glutes back, right? We're going to take this club up to our back hip, just right to there. And all we're going to do is work on staying really connected and moving those hands over towards our lead pocket right there. So I'll show it to you again this way as we come through. The hands are moving here this way, not moving away or out like that. Anywhere in through there, right out of the gate, you're disconnected. But also, more importantly, my lead leg is the center of the golf swing, so I am therefore need to swing around that lead leg if it's the center of the swing to make the circle. You move away from it, that's when you start getting misses, and I see this a lot in a lot of amateur players where their hands move away from their body, and they're wondering why they're maybe hitting little scooters to the right or blocks or slices. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. So again, that's 10 reps of what I just showed you back in through, do it nice and slow. It should probably take you about a good eight to 10 seconds anyway to perform this in a Pilates yoga type way. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We will catch you again real soon. Okay, so for this next exercise here, um, if you have a, a ball at home, could be a basketball, could be a soccer ball, could be even a weighted ball here that I have here uh, right now that I'm gonna use. Basically what we're gonna do now is we're gonna do a little bit of what we call underhand toss. And all I'm going to do is sequence a motion, and I want to make sure that when I come through, that my right hand is on top, being a right-handed player with the ball that we're holding. Okay, so right now I'm just going to take the ball back. You can see there's blue on this side, and obviously with the right hand on top, you're seeing yellow. So there's one rep, two rep, and I really, while you're doing it, I want you to engage your core as you're doing this. Three rep. Four, pushing off. Five, keeping your nice, keeping your arms really connected. Making sure, six, seven, that we're keeping our spine angle going through. So you're gonna do 10 reps of this particular, that'll be one set, 10 reps. And I, this one in here, I'd like to see you maybe do three sets if you can 
wait about 20, 30 seconds in between them. So that will be the drill for this last episode.